In this video, we'll be covering how you can use an article's references and citations to find other relevant articles for your topic. Maybe you've picked a research topic that is newer, narrower, or isn't as popular of a topic, and your search results don't have as many articles as you'd like. When you do this, you may have to get creative in where you find your sources, and a helpful tactic with that is citation mining. Citation mining is using an article that you have found on your topic to find more articles by checking its references and seeing who cited the article that you found. Every time an article that you read mentions or cites another work, that work will appear in the reference section of the article that you are reading. In some databases like PsycInfo, Medline, or other EBSCO databases, the end of the paper is where you will look for these references. But some databases that you find will link you to it separately. For instance, on JSTOR, you can locate it with this book icon here. And in some cases, there will be a link if an article in the reference section is in JSTOR. On ProQuest, the search results will have links to Cited By and References below the link to the article. By selecting the link to references, you can see all the works this article has referenced. If any of the references are articles that ProQuest has in its database, there will be a link to it or with a Find Full Text box. If you found a relevant article for your topic, but it's on the older side and you want to check if there has been more recent research, you can choose Cited By. These are the articles that ProQuest has that have cited this article. Another place that you can check who has cited an article that you're interested in is Google Scholar. If you are off campus, you'll need to use the link to Google Scholar that is on our databases page in order for it to search our databases. Paste in the title of the article you've found by citation mining. Make sure that the publication information on the result matches what you have from the references page. Here below the article information, you'll see a link that says Cited By. Click on it to see who this paper has been cited by. You can even do this for an article you've already found if you're curious to see who else has written more recently on its topic. If we have any of the articles in the Cited By section, they will be linked to on the side. This is a way that you can take the articles that you have found and trace them backwards into their references and forwards into their citations. If you have any questions as you begin this process, remember the library is here to help. 